Welcome everybody to this video. I am going to show you how to do double-sided engraving using Lightburn and your OnTech laser. Uh, this right here isn't specific to having a camera or not. In fact, actually this method will show you how to do it without a camera. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first thing I want to show you is how to use your substrate uh, as your own template or jig in a sense. So I'm going to go ahead, uh, I'm just going to do two coin type designs here basically and just put test on both front sides. Um, I'm going to do the engravings and then I'm going to cut them out and then I'll show you how I use that wood um, to get perfect reverse engravings without needing to do any crazy alignment tricks or anything. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and load the material up right here and let's get those cut out. So after you get your material loaded, it's a good idea to find something to hold your material down so it doesn't move around when you go to remove those coins. Um, I like to use smaller magnets and what I do is I build a perimeter around the substrate, the wood, uh, so that way when I remove it, I could just put it back and it'll fit snugly right where it came from. So you can see right there, there's our perimeter um, and that'll just kind of mark where it's gonna go back. So uh, now that I have the design set, ready to go, material loaded, let's go ahead and frame it out. I just wanna make sure that it's gonna be on the part that's not used up already. Um, frame looks good and let's get started. Now that we're all set, I'm gonna show you this first method here. I'm just gonna use a piece of tape. Um, this comes in handy, let's say we didn't have the magnets. Uh, this is a great way to remove uh, those pieces from your wood without actually moving the substrate itself. So you could just take a little small piece of painter's tape and just like set it down gently on the, the surface of the piece you cut out and then I'll lift it right out. Pretty easy, pretty simple, pretty awesome. Um, now I'm going to show you, so you could just lift this wood out right here and you'll see the magnets kind of just hold the position of where that wood was. Um, so now that I took those pieces out, I could just gently place it right back and it just goes exactly where it was. And I can go ahead uh, and flip my coins around so that way I can get ready to do the engraving on the back side. Well, now that we're in position, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the design for the back side. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete the test ones and I'm just gonna put um, back side as an example just to kind of show you how this works. Um, so I'm going to keep the cut lines there right now as I position my my text or design or whatever you end up using. And then uh, before we start the engraving, we're just going to go ahead and select that little output box right there so it's turned off. It'll be kind of grayed out um, and it won't engrave, but it'll keep that there as a template. So let's go ahead and start this. So you could already tell that the positioning on our backside engraving is like pretty much perfect spot on dead center. It's exactly where it needs to be really. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just pull these out and give you a little up close. Um, so there you go, you got your back side and you have your front side. Um, so this is applicable to uh, you know many situations if you need to do multiples, let's say like you know 50 to a sheet or something. As long as you he keep that template in place, that jig, um, you could just flip all the coins you know, and, uh, and do the back side engraving and it'll come out perfect every single time. So the next thing I want to show you is kind of like a one-off product thing where you have the opportunity to engrave something double-sided like this uh, grinder here or maybe like a lighter. Um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and take the measurements of the width of the item that I want to engrave and I'm going to use the same piece of wood here as a template um, so that way I can get accurate engraving uh, that's spot on. So now that we have uh, my objects measured uh, using those digital calipers, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in those numbers right now um, and I'm gonna create a circle uh, to basically just give myself a template using that wood. And um, you know, this is gonna put it on the substrate and that way when I flip it over later on too, it'll also be exactly center. It's the same concept as before, but just for a visual, I wanna show you what it's like to do uh, a single object, double-sided all the way through. So. Here's the settings, let's go ahead and get it started. So simple enough, just a big circle. I'm gonna use that tape method to pull it out real quick. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and plop my object down over there. And if you see, it's a perfect fit. So uh, now I'm gonna bring that laser head over here. Since the object is obviously 
larger than the piece of wood. Uh, I'm just gonna bring that bed down and make sure that my lens is uh, at proper focal distance before I get started. Um, we'll get that in a position, test it out, and then we're good to go. Now that we have the object in position uh, and we have the laser head level at correct focal distance, um, let's go ahead and put a design inside that template that we created. I'm gonna use a logo of mine here and uh, you know, make sure that that layer is uh, has the output box checked again. Um, and then position your design centered um, right where your cut line is. And then we'll go ahead just like the time before. Um, we're going to turn that cut line off again. And then we can go ahead and get started on our engraving. So the engraving's all done. As you can see, um, using that template method really gives you pretty much precise accuracy. Um, so it's a great way to kind of just zone in on your engravings. Even if you're not doing double-sided, this is a great way uh, to get the placement correct. So let's flip that around and let's get this engraved on the other side. Now that the second side is done, let's go ahead and take a closer look here. Um, I could already tell right off the bat it looks like it's centered on both the front and the back side. Um, so this is just, you know, proven to be a really good method, especially if you don't have a camera to get really good accuracy for double-sided or even single-sided engraving. 